This is a letter to all optometrists out there who hear my voice. So if you're an optometrist or you know an optometrist, listen up, cause this is gonna be good. So about a week ago, I saw a post from someone who I thought was trying to tear down my videos and tear down the optometry profession. So I was actually about to get in an online argument with this guy, but I decided to look a little bit deeper and understand his point of view. And it turned out to be one of the wisest people I've ever had a conversation with. And he gave some things that would save my career and hopefully you'll save yours. So thing number one that he said to avoid at all costs, and that is two types of people who are going to try to recruit you. And it's okay if you've already fallen into some of these mistakes because it's never too late and you can get out of contracts and you can save your career and your happiness. Type number one, he says, is to, and I'm gonna quote, beware of older optometrists who promise benefits in exchange for starting at a lower compensation. Getting you to work for less money, harsher conditions, in an understaffed office in exchange that they will someday sell you their practice at a reasonable price is the oldest trick in the book. So beware. I've known two different types of optometrists that I saw before I came to optometry school. One is someone who got tricked out of their first about 10 years of practice because he went into practice with someone who he thought was going to end in ownership. But the head optometrist that hired him on changed his mind and didn't end up letting him buy into the practice. And so he wasted 10 years of his life on something that didn't end up being in the contract or people who have been able to buy into a practice and go really well. Get an accountant to look at each contract and get a lawyer to look at each contract. That money is not going to be wasted money. The second type of person he says to watch out for is ophthalmologists who will treat you like technicians. Now we know that there's an ongoing fight between optometrists and ophthalmologists. We know that ophthalmologists think lesser of optometrists in a lot of cases, but never sign a contract with one who's gonna treat you less than your worth. I quote, beware of ophthal ophthal ophthalmologists who view you as a technician, otherwise you will be treated as a technician your whole career. You will only get the respect that you demand and you are nobody's doormat. Don't think that you are lesser just because you went to a few years less of school. Make sure that you get the respect as an eye doctor that you deserve as an eye doctor. He then goes on to share that he didn't have the best OAT, didn't have the best GPA, and he wasn't the smartest in optometry school at all, but he shares that it's never the smartest people who do the best. And here's a quote that I like that he said, by being an optometry student, you've already done the hard stuff. Becoming successful and becoming wealthy from that is the easy part. Unfortunately, most optometrists do not complete the simple formula for financial success. And I know that's true that a small, insignificantly seeming decisions now will make you so much more prosperous and happy and free in the future. Some simple financial things that I've done when I was 18 have turned out to be massive for me already just a few years later. And so make sure these years in optometry school and right after optometry school, you set yourself up for financial success and it's way easier to end up successful than you think. He then shares this quote by Calvin Coolidge. Nothing in the world can take the place of persistence. He shared that in whatever community you're in, you need to make yourself indispensable to that community. He shared that he learned Spanish, even though it wasn't his native language, to help the community members, and that eventually led to a lot of trust in the community around him, friendships that lasted, and opportunities for work and charities in the future. And it will also grow your love to your community as much as it'll grow your community's love towards you. And it'll give you that much more happiness in serving them just as it'll give them happiness in being served by you. He also said that to be the most successful that you can be, find a niche specialty. Now that doesn't mean you only have to do niche specialties, but you need to find one and get really good at something that'll pay off. In his case, his practice was glaucoma therapy and that's what they niche down in and you can get really successful with that. Another optometrist that I know niched down in vision therapy and he stopped even selling glasses and contacts because he wanted to niche down even more because the better you are at something, the more valuable you are to your patients. And he said, don't beware of competition, 
be the competition. No one else is you. No one else is the same doctor that you are. No one else like him was going to be the Spanish speaking glaucoma treating doctor. And like the other optometrist I was talking about, no one was going to be the certified residency trained vision therapy doctor with the same type of attitude and connections that he had. And there's no, going to be no one like me and there's going to be no one like you. So you are the competition. Don't think about beating the competition, be the competition. He also said to make sure that you beware of bad financial decisions like a divorce can be. Now you can't always control that, but just make sure that you keep it in mind because if you end up not putting that the right amount of effort into your relationships, that can put you behind about 10 years in life. That doesn't mean don't get married. He said he's been happily married for 40 years, but just make sure you put that effort into those big decisions as well. And I'm glad he has some of the same financial mindsets as me because I know that those have helped me out so much and I hope to maybe contribute some of them to you. He said, optometry will provide you with a comfortable living but it will not make you rich. Optometry provides enough expendable income that you can put your money in investments that make you wealthy. Never make a dollar that you do not retain some portion of it for some investing. And then he went on to quote Albert Einstein and saying, the most powerful force is not relativity, but the power of compound earnings. And then he said, compound earning and compound debt are what can make or break you. So make sure you pay off all debts and continue to compound your earnings by investing them in the stock market and real estate or other things. It will either raise you up or bury you down. And he said his investments were able to do so well because he went against the grain. He's called himself a contrarian. You make sure that you're doing something that not everyone else is doing. Something like the stock market can be very stable. And his example was in the financial crises where there was the big bubble pop with real estate, that was his time that he invested in it. So make sure that with your investments, you're smart and you go against the grain. And then he gave the smart nugget that if you're investing in real estate, the primary living home that you're in and buying is the hardest one to maintain, but the easiest ones are ones that cash flow or ones that you rent out. So apartment complexes or um, homes that you rent out are the best things to invest in because they cash flow. And he ends it all by saying this, it's never going to be about what you take with you when you leave the world, but it's what you leave behind when you go. Best regards to all. So I just wanna leave you guys by saying optometry is great if you make it great. There are plenty of things to be aware of, but make sure to be in charge of your own destiny. You can make some of those hard but good decisions in your life to keep you happy, keep you wealthy, and to keep you prospering and helping others. Thank you for reading slash watching this letter with me. Go ahead and comment down below what your best advice to optometrists is. Smash the like button so this video can reach more people just like you and subscribe for more optometry content. See you in the next one.